gas, no oil, no sound. It's quiet. So here's how we converted this 1970 Vespa 50 Special with a regular motor, 50 cc's, super slow, to an electric motor. Totally disassembled. I'm just gonna pull a couple more wires and the brake back, but everything fits on this cart. I stripped it down to bare metal, and we actually have this place that they will take a Vespa frame and they will dip it into a 55 gallon acetone, which is like a nail polish remover. And it perfectly gets rid of everything. You don't have to do sandblast or bead blast, it doesn't mess up the metal. It's Processing. So after we did that, we just threw some um, primer on it just out of a rattle can. And Bobby Blues is our paint man, and he went through and he did paint and body work all the way through. Just became a process of uh, painting. So primer, primer, paint that paint uh, and then we did a clear coat so it was a two-stage paint job with a base coat and a clear coat. So let's go ahead let's check out a couple videos I threw a GoPro on the bike and on my helmet and just tested it out riding it around town it's silent which is great a Vespa two-stroke motor is pretty fun noise, but the like high-pitched whine of an electric motor is a pretty cool sound as well. All right, electric uh, Vespa conversion kit, first test. Power on. Batteries hooked up. Let's give it some juice. <laughs> All right, first test ride of the electric Vespa. It's a 50 special that's been converted. There's our click showing that it's on. And we're gonna back up. Test it out. It's got tons of torque, way more than the original motor. So here we go. Battery install for the electric Vespa. Pretty straightforward. Put the seat up, the battery just slides right in. It's the size of a toolbox, easily rechargeable. It slides right in. Battery mounted. This is our 64 volt option. Hooks up just like that. Batteries in like that. Uh, 64 volts. You can take them out. You can get multiples. You can take them out when you get to the office or wherever you're going and charge it at regular 120 volts. So just a wall socket. Uh, key. There's a key fob. You can hear it turns on. Clicks off as well. So. Um, you don't need the key for the actual Vespa to drive it around. The key is just going to be for lights and all of the original Vespa accessories. This is our test ride. Key is on. You can hear that we have power. And now it's just on the way. Make sure our brake is working. Yep. So you can see, just like that, it's quiet. You can hear me talking through my helmet. Click off the line, too. And this is a uh, Vespa small frame, so 
Originally, this would have been a 50cc motor, really small. Probably would have gone about 35 miles per hour top speed. A little, maybe zero to 50 right here. We got no traffic around. There we go. <laughs> nice thing about this is with a Vespa, if it sits for two weeks, especially these old ones, they're not made for the kind of gasoline that we have nowadays. It has ethanol in it. So if it sits, especially in hot summer weather, the car will get all sticky. It won't run right. You're always tinkering on it. With this, park it on the side of your house for, I don't know, five years. As long as the battery's not just sitting in there exposed to the uh, elements, you should be fine to just keep driving it. It's Pretty cool. If you're interested in getting any of these kits, let me know. Uh, we can order and install and make them to whatever specs that you desire. Uh, small frames, large frames, even non-Vespas, we can do stuff as well like that. So let me know if you have any questions. Uh, yeah, it was a fun project. It's a really cool bike and it turned out really beautiful. So there's more to come. Uh, I'll be posting a couple more videos once we start getting some more electric Vespas.